The Gumroad version of this series just got updated to include a 3D modeling guide PDF. Not only does it include this guide, but it also includes our final Love Chan model that we'll create in this series, downloadable videos, a short video series that introduces you to the fundamentals of using Blender, and more. The price of the Gumroad version will increase after this series is completed in full, so if you want the absolute best value on it, tap that link below today. So now let's model the rest of the lower hair. So to do that, we actually don't want to have all this stuff in the way because we need to kind of view the bottom of the model. So to quickly hide everything and make sure we're just seeing the bottom of the model, we want to click on our model here and press slash on our keyboard. And that's the slash that's like right next to the shift key above the control key to the left of the arrow key. So just press slash, okay, that one, on your keyboard with this selected to isolate your model. And if you want to unisolate, just press slash again. So click on a model, press slash to isolate your model so that's the only thing that you're actually seeing. So now that that's taken care of, we want to be modeling the lower hair here. And there's a few proportional changes I'm gonna wanna make. I'm gonna go to edit mode, click on a vert here and kind of move this one in. Click on this vert and move this down a little bit like this. Doesn't need to be perfect, but I have to be kind of close. Actually, this needs to go way down. My apologies, this needs to go way down. Um, this actually goes all the way down here. So I'm gonna click on this vert, shift click this vert, press M, merge at last. Which, yep, that is indeed how that's supposed to look. I'll move this down, GZ, a little bit. So that's all taken care of. Now, it looks like this should be up a little more. It should be a little bit to the side. And now that I see that I need a triangle here, I'm gonna extrude from this vert, not this vert, and then shift click this vert, M, merge at last, go to edge select by pressing two, click on all these edges and press F to fill in those edges. Then I'm gonna to wanna to create another triangle like right here, do that. I'm gonna to go to vert select, click on this vert, E to extrude from this vert, E to extrude from this vert, and then shift click this vert, M, merge at last, press two to go to edge select, click on this edge, shift click this edge, F to fill them in. So that's looking pretty cool. That's about how we want it to look, which is awesome. I'm going to go to edge select and extrude from right here. From this extrusion, I'm going to press edit, go to, well, I was already in mode, <laughs> but I'm going to go to vertex select right here. Then I'm gonna shift click this vert, press M, merge it last. Then I'm gonna move this vert down and I try to line it up like this and move this down. And we want to connect these verts together, these two. So I'm gonna shift click this vert, press M, merge at last, those two verts selected. And now I can see that we want this vert on the jawline to connect with this. So I'm gonna actually cut in a new edge by using the knife tool, click right here, click right here, press enter, go to select box, vert, G to move this over, shift click this vert, M, merge at last, kind of just going like this, really studying my reference to make sure this is looking correct. Uh, I actually don't want a vert here, so I'm going to shift click, oops, gonna click this vert, then shift click this vert, merge at last. That's looking pretty good. G to move this over, G to move this over, move this over, and G to move this over, like so. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go to the side view on our model by pressing three. We're gonna see that we're getting pretty close here. I'm gonna go to side view on my reference here, so make sure things are looking correct. They are fantastic. Press G to move this over a little bit. Now, I want to extrude from this edge, so I'm gonna click on this edge and edge select, which I got to by pressing two. Just E to extrude from this edge. I'm gonna to go to vert select by pressing one, click on this vert, shift click this vert, M, merge at last. G to move up this vert like so. Click on this edge, Press E to extrude. Go to vert select by pressing one, click on this vert, this vert, M, merge at last. G to move this vert, move it up like so. Then I am going to want to G move this up a little bit. Oops, press two, click on this edge. Press E to move it out. 
and rotate around G to move it out this way. And click on this part, move it out like so. Move it out like that. Back to my side view. Then it looks like there's a hole right here that I need to fill in. So I'm going to press E to extrude from this vert, shift click this vert, M, merge at last, two to go back to edge select, click two of these edges, F to fill them in. So let's click one edge, shift click the other, then press F. Then for the top of this right here, it looks like now that this is filled in, I want to try here. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. And I think I want to, yeah, I want to combine these. So sh click on one bird, shift click the next M, merge it first or last, it doesn't really matter. I'll move it over a little bit. Then I'm going to press E to extrude from here, shift click this bird, M, merge it last, two, to switch to edge select, click, 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 F. Then the same here. This is kind of the long way of doing it, but whatever, it works. Press one to go to vert select, E to extrude. Shift click this vert, M, merge at last. Two, click, 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 fill. All right, it's looking pretty good. And I think we want yet another try here. So click, click, F to fill, click, click, fill. And oh my goodness, our hair is done. We're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> so this is looking good, this is looking good. Go to the front view, both of these. Make sure this is looking correct. Go to vert select, G to move this out, click this, G to move this out, click this, G to move this way out, click G, move this out, G to move this out, G to move this in. Let's go by eye here to make sure this is all looking good. Have most of what we need in place. Cool, cool, cool. Gonna rotate out here. Go to the, let's go to the side view, compare side views here. This is actually looking pretty close, pretty cool. I am, because I don't want this hole here, I am actually going to cut in an edge here. So I'm gonna Alt A to deselect all, go to the knife tool, click this vert, click right here, enter to confirm, select box, Alt A to deselect all. Click this vert, shift click this vert, M, and merge at last. So there's no weird holes in our model because those aren't fun. Um, then double check this is all looking good. It's looking pretty good. Move this up, click this, move this up. And these are just proportional changes I'm doing. Your mileage may vary because we're all modeling different, little bit different models here. Move this up, move this in. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, let me get out of this and press slash on my keyboard to get out. That's our hair. So now let's model her bangs. This is gonna be really easy, but I am noticing that her neck looks a little weird here. So I'm gonna to go to edit mode. I'll isolate by pressing slash on my keyboard. I'll box select these top verts and just move them up. Then press slash to unisolate and that is looking a lot better. All right, so now to model her bangs, we're just gonna go to the front view by pressing one of our keyboard, go to the edit mode, and we're going to apply, oh, not going to edit mode yet. We're gonna be in object mode. <laughs> then we're gonna go to our mirror modifier and apply it. So just click apply right there to apply modifiers so that we can actually edit both sides of our model in edit mode now, which is really useful. So to add the bangs here, all I'm gonna wanna do is press T to open this knife tool, or to select the knife tool rather, then I'm gonna click from right here to right here, and press enter. And I could also press uh, Alt H, excuse me, I can go to object mode and press Alt H to bring back my reference here. I'm gonna hide this skeleton because I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see a skeleton. <laughs> I'm gonna go to front view, pressing numpad one on my keyboard, press Alt Z to kind of view my reference here. So I'll see again to hide that. Then I'm gonna to go to edit mode, select box, edge select, and I'm gonna press G, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna press E to extrude from here. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, press M to merge at center, go to vertex select, scooch this on over. I'm actually gonna scooch this on over, scooch 
Scooch this on over. Scooch this on over. And scooch this on over with GX. Then for right here, I'm going to do a lot of the same things. I'm going to press Alt A to deselect all. Press my click on my knife tool. Cut right here. Cut. Have the cut end right here and press Enter. And I'm doing that because Alt A to deselect all. So now when I extrude from this edge right here by pressing E, I'm not going to be like extruding all the way over here. It'll just be in this section, which is going to look a lot better for bangs. So press M to merge at center here, just like here. Press 1 to go to vertex select. Move this bang over here. Scooch this over a bit. Scooch this down. Scooch this down. A little bit to taste. Add some asymmetry because it usually looks quite aesthetically pleasing in general. Move this down. Move this over. GX. And would you look at that? Looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So now I kind of want to move this in. So I'll press G. So these. Uh, hmm. I can also press X symmetry at the top right of my uh, viewport here if I want to mirror this on the other axis. So now I'll move all of these, except this one, because it's being annoying. I'll just deselect that. <laughs> and then go into here and move these in with G. Click on this, go to the front view, move it in with G. Click on this, move it in with G. Move this around with G. So now it's asymmet asymmetrical, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that in a 3D model. It can look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And right there are our bangs. I'm also going to want to add a mirror modifier to everything that is not mirrored in our scene yet. So I'm going to exit edit mode, click on our foot, go to the modifiers tab right here, add modifier, mirror, click on the hand, add modifier, mirror, arm, mirror, leg, mirror, and look at that, our model is done. The 3D modeling section is now complete, and in the next video series, we're going to talk about doing our UVs and textures on our character, which is probably the most anticipated part and most requested part, so I'm really excited to get into that. I'll see you in those videos really soon, so make sure to like the video, comment below if you enjoyed it, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss out on future Crash Sune Academy videos. Remember to check out the Gumroad version of this course, which is linked in the video description below, and get it today if you want the absolute best value and bang for your buck on it. Please comment below and like the video if you find this series helpful, and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications and you never miss new content arriving on this channel. It helps a ton. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.